Hey everyone, I'm only showing this real quick because I just did an entire GeoGuessr episode and I didn't even hit record. Yeah, I wanted evidence to show you that I did well. Look at how well I nailed these. Except for that one. But, that doesn't matter. We're going to try another map. <sighs> it's early on a Sunday, I'm sorry. I just needed evidence to be like, I did an episode, I did well. This is what happened. I I wanted to show that, you even went to Japan, which I don't think we've ever been to before. But, I nailed it, we even had two French guesses. I even got a super tiny, um, road that I got in the, like, the last two seconds in France, and I felt real confident in my abilities, but now that doesn't matter. We're doing another episode with another potential chance of me. What are you? Probably getting nothing but, um, well, we're on the coast somewhere and that scares me or we're next to water. Now that scares me because all of these could be guesses and I'll end up with like 5,000, 15,000 points. If I'm lucky. Ugh. Feel like you got it all in the bag. You're like, oh, I did real good. And here we go. And man, these guardrail things are super close to the road. It feels like slot cars. Why are you so worried about going into the other lane? Is that much of an issue here in wherever we are? I haven't seen a road sign yet. Okay. That helps me potentially that has to be Norway welcome till I mean it can't be any other no that is not Norwegian flag what are you you're just a flag of some of some stuff that potential okay that looks like Norway that could be Sweden um, I'm not convinced just yet. Alright, let's go. Oh, the Lillehammer. So we're, we are in Norway. Um, we're close to Lillehammer. Wasn't that here? Lillehammer. Alright, I'm just gonna click next to it. This, I don't know if this is a high, wait, I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, I feel that's Norway. All right, this I guess this is the Lillehammer Highway. I'm, I mean, I saw the thing, the Olympics '94. I remember watching those Olympics. I couldn't tell you anything that happened in those Olympics. I don't think that was the Nancy Kerrigan one, was it? Could have been, when literally everything on the channel on NBC, I believe, because they were the ones who I think probably had the rights for it was nothing but skating and I hated skating it was so boring I didn't even care I mean I was also 10 12 I think it was 12 at the time skating was boring I hated it it was not exciting or interesting but since it was such a big thing in the news of course they were gonna show it yeah this is the e6 Doka Brixton and Vingram all right I don't see... Oh, E6 is right. Oh, E6 goes a bit of a ways. E6 keeps going. Jesus. Where's Doka? Okay, this is a way longer highway than I thought. Am I going to be, like, so far off because it's this far north? Jesus. Yeah, if you don't know anything about the whole Nancy Kerrigan and Tom Tanya Harding thing, just Google it. Someone kneecapped another person. And then she got all cry on camera. Why is it happening to me? Why, oh why? This is probably Russia. With the concrete, why? Okay, thank you. I mean, I understand if I was an adult, be, okay, this is interesting, but then I wouldn't really care past... I don't know what this is yet. 
I don't care past just, okay, yeah, she got kneecapped in an attempt to get her out of Vinken Hoek? Is this Dutch or is this German? To coop, to lot. I don't know what the hell this is yet. Get me over here. This is a cute little lawn. Yeah, it's great. The whole skating thing. Even now, it's still. I can't remember the Olympics that happened before in 1990. If skating was that big of a deal, but it just hasn't stopped now. Okay, I think there's a... Oh, come on. I think there's a URL here. No, it's Deconic. That doesn't help me. Is this Germany? I'm just too scared to pull the trigger on calling this Germany. Get me over there. I want to go this way. I thought I saw a sign. Give me a little fud. This This may... Cause me some trouble. I got two minutes left. And now I'm sitting here trying to remember all the stupid shit I talked about in my attempted video that never actually happened, if I can bring it up again. Ooh, this has a URL. D, uh, uh, it's going to go too far. Oh, yeah. Uh, time, space itself perfectly. The only thing I talked about that I can remember right now, and I'm finding it hilarious that even at the end I was talking about a thing, and I'm like, I'm not going to have enough time to finish this. I wish I had some more time. And here we are, and now I can't remember what it was. Was that Gem N42B? I don't know if there's... Well, I, is, is it going to be this country? I'm just going to click there for now, and then try to get confirmation on some URLs. And I can't tell the difference between... Potential German and Dutch and See, there could be dot de that was at your URL. But I just need another company van. Oh man. How much of a difference is there in Dutch and German? Is it that insulting to be that dumb and not understand? And ask that question, that person really wanted their house blurred. So didn't you. What just happened? There's a sign right here, and it it purposely went out of its way to get me to blur town. No. There what am I back where I started? See this sign? I want it why what is it? Oh, uh. I guess I'm going this way. Alright, sign. Back up. Back up. Curse that right. Uh, I'm gonna hedge my bet just because... I'm gonna stay like here because I feel it's near there. I can't tell the difference. Like, yeah, multiple... Like, vowels together. Maybe that's a Belgian thing. I don't know. If you know, tell me, please, because it'll help me in the future. Or not, if you'd like to see me suffer and get 20 points like I did last time when I couldn't tell the difference between Argentina and Germany. Uh, Argentina and Mexico. Is this Italy? Yeah, that answers that. I did click World, and it says World there, so it's just giving me... Um, Italian, uh, European guesses. And at this point, I think in the other video, I was like 2,000 points ahead. Oh, I'm so annoyed that I just forgot to hit a button. But I had evidence. You saw it. I was giving everything five stars just because I hadn't seen it before. This is cool little public water thing. You water your horses there. You dip your hands in. I wouldn't drink out of that if you dip your hands in it. Sounds awful. Well, this is kind of, well, actually, I can't say it's mountainy because there's still a bit of mountains, like, I want to say, like, here and up. It's too mountainous to be that far north, I believe. That's my dumb 
educated guess, these are super narrow roadways. And I think I hit a dead end. Yeah. All right, we'll go back this way. Let's just get... What? Uh, Vende... Is that like a, your mailbox? I don't know what that's for. Is this like abandoned? Not well, abandoned's kind of harsh. There's nobody living there right now. Get me fucking. I click, it doesn't go. And I don't ask much. Just to work. Alright, we'll just hit home and uh, head this way. Potentially towards. Another town? We'll see. Alright. Well, how was your weekend anyway? I didn't even... And it's silly me. I'm just here talking to myself, just totally ignoring you. Actually, those are pretty high. Click there. Did you do everything you wanted to do on your Monday... Uh, the weekend? Maybe not. There's always next weekend. Unless you got plans already. Like, you want to do things and you can't. Just because someone else wants you to go to a barbecue, to a movie. Opagna? Alright, we're not going to Op Opagana. Opagana? Whatever, I'm going up these super tiny roads. I have all these ambitions when it comes to weekends. I'm like, alright. No, I wanted to go up. You take me up. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this. The only things I have, like, set in stone, I gotta record these, even though I have to record the other videos, the Uncharted ones we're doing right now. Uh, it was nice out yesterday, I actually went golfing, and I'm cursed as far as golfing is concerned, just because I'm, that was the first round I had out there this year i haven't really i i swung i went to the driving range and hit a small bucket of balls because i had no stamina and if i wasted money on a bigger one i would just be too tired to finish the bucket and potentially give yourself a bad swing the problem with golf is it's all mental basically if you think you're going to do bad you probably will you just have to not think that's the easiest way to describe it but you just sit there and be like all right must just swing You've swung a club enough, hopefully your muscle has memory of the swing, and it'll just happen. But, went out, first time, and I'm pretty much average, oh it is farther south, I'll do that though. Pretty much average around bogey golf, which is one over, is this Europe again? Alright. Random's getting uh, pretty specific as far as the... Again, it's his world. This could be France. This could be Switzerland. But bogey golfer, one over par. Which say the par is four. It takes you five strokes or swings of the club to finish the hole. Par is like, okay, this is a par four. You should be able to do this easily in four swings. If you're good, you can do it in three. That's a birdie. There you can do one over, which is a bogey, and then if you're two over, that's double, tri double bogey, then it's triple bogey, quad, quint, and then after that, you should just give up because you're having a bad hole, but I ran it's around, this is cool, makes a cool echoey noise probably when you're driving through it, but this is just, are you doing a wheelie? What is this? Oh, it's just a dude on a backwards tricycle. What the hell? This is weird. Kind of cool. Alright, you do you. Just thrown on the side of a lopped off mountain here. Camera, come on. I did see a road sign that told me a number, but... Amateurs, something, tourists, piss ants and tourists. Set party, do you want to expo, please? Go because about your curiosity. Something about a museum. 
You want to go in Expo, please? Go with Curiosity. This is probably just saying don't take pictures. But look at this place. Why would you not want to take pictures? I mean, I think that's what it says. My French is terribly rusty. Um, I'm going to say we're over here because where all the mountains are, like this section. So I'm going to click there. I think this might be like a, either a museum or an artist's home. All right, back to golf. But it's bogey golf, basically, is what I play. If I hit a par, which I did on the first hole I played of that of the year, which, lucky me, and which meant it was a par four, so I got it in four shots, put it in a hole. And it was like, hey, great, got a par, but I know what that always means, is regardless of how many pars I'll get, I'll fuck up in another hole to make up for that. So I got a par of that hole, I bogey the next one. So it was one over through two holes. So well, after that, I think I, I went on a streak of like a couple of bogeys, which I'm expected. But every time I got a par, it wasn't that far off. I would get a double bogey on one of the holes. And then the last hole, I guess I was kind of tired just because again, I only played nine holes. I didn't play that much over the week, the winter, because you can't really golf in the winter. I mean, I wouldn't. If you could, good for you. You're probably my dad's friend who would make ice golf on the frozen lake as we went ice fishing. But melted down in the ninth hole and ended up with like a plus 10 or plus 11 for the day. It was bad. Okay. I was 100% wrong. I don't think I saw enough. What was this? And we're next to some cabaret. I'll do three stars because... Can't give everything four stars. That's silly. Is this America? Yeah. Watching for water over the road. So this is a floodplain area. I'm going backwards. I don't know where this is. I haven't seen enough to let me know. I want it. Oh, well. Farm Road 118. All right. Here we go. We've got the state. We've got the route. 118. This is going to be hard to find. So, humor me as I do this. That's... Okay. That's the board. That's Oklahoma. I don't see 118 here. Farm road makes me think that it's a uh, small enough road that that far zoomed out, we're not going to see it. Um, Alright, so we'll start doing a little deducing because... Based off nothing... I don't think it's in this part of Texas, or potentially this part that feels too arid and dry. Maybe over here. It's a floodplain, it says, so it's got to be near some water. Um, I can't say it's rolling off because that's dumb. I haven't seen enough. All right, so we got 118. I'm just going to click here for now. 118 Farm Road. Maybe we'll see some more. Get near a highway or something. It's County Roads. Farm Road 118. Definitely get some use here. I'm going to go a little bit more. Then I think we're going to go back to the uh, road hunting. Maybe I can get to a town. Or an intersection of some, but this is out there. This is probably real hot, humid, potentially. And this is all county road stuff. And this is some out there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This may help. Forward? This is South Sulphur Cemetery. Does everything stink here? Like sulfur? If you've never actually been next to a, uh, 
Ooh, here we go. Get here. Never actually been near a uh, thing that we can produce stinky sulfur. It's it's not it's not pleasant. Five twelve and one eighteen. Like I know where it is, but I don't know where it is. So we're gonna sit here for the next forty six seconds and potentially stumble across this somehow. But I'm not holding out hope. If I grew up next to a uh well, pretty close to a outdoor water treatment plant. And what does that mean? Uh the air sometimes stunk. You can kinda guess what made it stink. But it was just the thing that you grew up with because you're used to it. I never got pink eye. There's 114. I'm going to click there just because that number's close. It was just kind of gross. Looking back at it, you didn't think of it at the time. It was like, hey, all right, it's stinky time. The wind's blowing the wrong way. Uh, am I close? Kind of. We're over here? Oh, there was no way I was going to. Yeah. I don't think there was any way. Yeah, look at how far I had to zoom down to see 118 there. There was no way. That's a big enough uh, state that I wasn't going to get it. Click the button. Nowhere near what we got last time. There was proof of it. Got a country completely wrong. And I'm sorry for that. Because I'm not smart enough to know the difference between Belgium, Germany, anything in that Germanic tinge of language but i'm checking again yes i did actually record this and i'm gonna thank you all for watching again because i did that last time before i looked over and didn't record it uh if you could please like favorite comment subscribe tell your friends um i'm gonna write a note and maybe i'll finish that story of living next to a stinky open air water treatment plant if you want to hear the end of it it's not that exciting but hey i'm here to please if you have any requests, comments, suggestions, tips, I'll take them. But yeah, check out some of the other stuff we got going on the channel this week. We're still doing some Uncharted. We're uh, working our way through some God of War as well. Um, but until Wednesday, when I remember to record again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Goodbye.